this is Cindy G with my scrap chick and in this video we are assembling the tennis box card and <clears throat> so I'm gonna start with my racket pieces so that I can slide these under my mat and let them dry a little um, before we put them together. You don't want to use too much glue. You don't want these to get um, overly wet and do a lot of bending. That's why I'm going to put them under my mat just to help um, whoops I'll help if I don't bend them okay I'm gonna go ahead and fold this on the score lines and while my rackets dry I want them to dry under my mat so that they're as flat as possible. Now this, I probably shouldn't have made the squares quite so tiny in this. I mean, they're not tiny, but they are small. So there's a lot of weeding to do with this file. But it does look nice and that actually looks like a racket. So just slide those on under let those dry nice and flat. So I'm going to put my tennis ball together. There we go. I've already put together my panel for the back of my card. And I just have these pieces laying where they go. The first thing I'm going to do is fold everything on the score lines. This one's already scored. And I'm going to go ahead and put these together. using my table to make sure that that is level. Okay. Now, this is the inside of my card and that's where you're going to put this inside panel. This goes inside your card. Now we're going to flip it over to do our other panels. So your sentiment pan, um, pieces go on the back. And then 
these do have a border all the way around, so just um, eyeball that to get it the best you can, center it as best you can. Same with this piece. bugging me. Okay, so and then this piece then glues on right here in the center. doesn't matter which way they go. When I put this in, I'm going to leave my tabs out flat. I'm going to put them, I'm going to lay this down against the back and then fold the side over and that's how I'm going to glue it to the side. Now before I glue this one on, I'm going to add the tennis ball and I want, those are my small circles, I think I need a little bit bigger circle. And what I, what I want to do is I want to pop it a little bit, but you know, you've got the net there behind it. So I'm going to save this piece. Mm -hmm put my ball here, flip it over, and I'm going to stick this over that part, push hard so that it stays. That's going to keep the sticker from sticking through and making that stick shut. That will stay attached. Okay, so now going to fold this down and we're going to repeat the process but this time the card the inserts on top of the first the back insert I'm going to add glue I'm going to lay that right flat against the piece behind it Glue this down. Move those. Carefully lift this up so I don't pull it off. Now you can see I've got my two tabs here cascading, so I'm going to leave this side flat on the table and bring it over and glue to the opposite side.
So I'm being careful to stay inside the score line and not putting my glue on too thick because I don't want it to ooze over the edge and glue my my layers together. Fold it the other way. So we're training the card both ways. And then we're going to glue it shut. tennis envelope box card. Thank you for joining me.